This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social and Association with Empire Fight Store. Here down at the Will Jones Boxing Gym, my first time down here, Sonny Liston Ali. How are you, bro? Yeah, good, my bro. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. We were just having a little chat off camera. Um, your name's always one that I see, like, spoke about on Twitter and stuff. And I think, like, the story, I imagine you were going to tell me you're from, like, a boxing hardcore family. But it's not even that. Do you want to just sort of explain the reason behind it? Because it doesn't actually have anything to do with boxing at all, really. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird one. Like, obviously, so my dad's surname's Ali, so that was just how it is. Obviously, Sonny was just, my granddad wanted to call me because my great, great, great granddad was called Sonny. He was in the Navy or something or whatever. Um, so Sonny was there and then my mum just put Sonny, Liston and Ali like sand well together, do you know what I mean? And it was never like a plan to get into boxing, it was never like a thing of I'll oh, call him this and then one day like, he'll get into boxing, blah blah blah. Like, like I said, like, I just said to um, Fee off camera, like I got into boxing myself, like I started like fighting in school, scrapping in school, blah blah blah. My mum got me into karate and I'd done like a couple of weeks of karate and I was like, yeah, nah, this, this ain't the one. So I went into, um, went, into, went into a boxing gym down the road. And when I first started off, I was absolutely terrible. Like, I couldn't hold my feet together, I couldn't throw a punch. I mean, yeah, and then I, I ended up having uh, five fights, one one in the end. My first five fights, one one. Won my first, won my debut, and then lost four on a spin. Well, when did it sort of start becoming something that you clearly realised you had a bit of a nick for? Obviously, we see you've got good amateur accolades. Um, sort of when did you first realise that boxing was probably something that had a future for you? <sighs> uh, do you know what? It's never like I never really like I don't know. Like, I think when um, it was never really a thing like this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. It was just something like, I enjoyed doing. Like when I was younger, I was getting like I think I feel like well, I've never been tested for it, but I feel like I've got some mad ADHD or something. Like I could never keep doing. I was always in trouble in school, and the only time I was sweet was when I was in the, in the boxing gym. You know what I mean? Punching the bag, but like, like having mad spars. It was the only time when I could like not feel like all fucking agitated. You know what I mean? Look, um, you're in the Swill Jones gym. It's one that's packed full of talent. We've got Ahara Davies training now, and we eagerly await a fight date sometime soon. Obviously, a lot of um, good boxing trainers and, and fighters in and around the Essex area. Mark Tibbs just over there as well. Um, in an area full of talent, and I suppose when you're focused, you've got your nut down, and you're surrounded by people like this, there's little opportunity to go wrong, really. It's crazy, literally, like, like I said, me and Will first started off, it was literally me and Will, I was the only boxer he had, like, and obviously like, but there was never any thought of me really turning over pro, and all of a sudden, in the past probably a year and a half, the gym's just got mental, obviously, O'Hara Davis has come here, um, we've got mad, ta mad talents here, obviously Jordan Perkis, he's fighting for English, ti English title in um, Saint, uh, 24th February, um, yeah, the talent, the talent in this gym is crazy, so... Um, they definitely work off each other over the tracks, all competitive, it's like good good competitiveness. Signed to Frank Warren, a good 2022 for yourself, now looking forward to 2023. Is it just activity and sort of creeping yourself up to the titles? Um, yeah, 100%. Like I said, this I've had, I've had five fights now and I've, I'm, I've, I don't even think I've really been it like, properly yet. Like, I've, not, I've not had a punch where I've gone, oh, that, that was a shot. Do you know what I mean? So I've, in the five fights, I've done I've got three six-rounders, two four-rounders, and I've, I've all them rounds, I've only been it like... I don't, well, I don't even think I've been it like big at all. So, yeah. So I need, I do need to get some, a few more, like a few more, like a bit, bit more harder opponents just to test me out a little bit, like because we don't know where I am. We obviously haven't had a competitive, competitive fight yet. We've not really seen enough of me. We don't know where. Like you never know, in it. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Keep ticking over this year, and then yeah, hopefully titles at the end of the year. In boxing, is the pathway to just sort of obviously now you've had your breakout year and had lots of experience etc is it now sort of cementing yourself as someone who can like sort of show that they can take a bit of a punch back and maybe look into some of the eight and ten round contest towards the back end of the year where you've got some live opponents in there yeah of course yeah i mean like you say though the thing is you don't you don't want to get it obviously right. i don't want to get it but um everyone's got to face adversity at some point like, yeah, yeah you, at, at some point you've got to show that you can take it do you know what i mean you can be the best boxer or no, you can't take it you like you get tagged once it's game over do you know what i mean so um yeah, I've got a sort of like, yeah, and, I, and I'd like to myself, I'd like to feel like, if I've never been hit properly in fucking eight ounce gloves, 10 ounce gloves, you know what I mean? So I'd like to feel like, oh, see if I can take it. Um, yeah. I was just going to sort of say, um, from a broader perspective on boxing as a whole, um, I suppose you, before you said it was never really something that sort of was thrown at you from a child and from young and stuff and you sort of fell your way into boxing. Um, something that I've sort of been asking people started this year is, 
If you feel like you weren't thrown into a position where boxing was there, how different do you feel like your life or sort of some combat sport as such would be now? A lot fucking easier, I'll tell you that. Oh. <laughs> um, no, I, I don't know. I, I, you know. Like I said, this is all I know. I've had fucking before I've come here. I've had five jobs. You know what I mean? I've done. I've been a mechanic. I've been uh, an electrician. Um, I printed printed T-shirts at Boxfit. Shout out Boxfit UK. Uh, what else have I done? Yeah, mate, I've had like four or five jobs. You know what I mean? I've been uh, bricklayers, paving. So um, yeah, for me, I think I would have until I found boxing and like proper turned over and dedicated my life to boxing. I'd probably be all the here, there, everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Just. Master, uh, what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the phrase called? Master of loads of craft. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know what the fucking yeah. quote's called. You know what I mean, yeah. no, you know what I'm talking about. Um, look, just finally from me, um, I suppose sort of spoke about the future for yourself, but future of the gym, obviously OD over there. Potentially looking at a fight with Richardson, which I suppose we're sort of waiting on a bit of an announcement for. Um, one that gets OD back into world title contention and one that... Um, OD would probably say, hell yeah, like, yeah. that's an easy fight for me. Your thoughts on it? Yeah, OD, like, like you say, we're watching him spar right now. He looks like he's on form at the minute. Do you know what I mean? I've never seen OD this sharp, this, this, this powerful. So, yeah, I think he's, he's definitely going to do one on um, Lewis Ritson. But uh, it'll be good for him, mate. He's, like, he's needed it. He's had a, a year of, like, it's not inactivity because he's still been active, but he's had a year of a bit, like, not knowing where he's at. Do you know what I mean? So it's good for him. Um, I think he'll do well, yeah. Same with all the other boys in the gym. It's about time we get out now. Um, one of the boys is trying to get on the old Misfits card. Dig him up, do you know what I mean? Try to do a bit of that. Might um, be me soon. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But listen, I'm telling you, I see like, a, lot, a lot of boxers are hating on this uh, Misfits and that, but I've, 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 I'm, I'm all for it, mate. I, I, I love it. I think, the, the, like you say, I see, um, I see KSI put something the other day about boxing and how we're, we're, we're fucking it ourselves, sort of thing. We're not doing the big fights. Whereas, on them shows, all them fights, I, like, I watched the, from the start to the finish of that show, do you know what I mean? And I'm you know what was mad though, was like 15, 16,000 people there that were like from the constant club, from yeah. there from the first fight, which I've not really seen anything like that. But That's what I'm saying, and listen, you can't hate them, like a lot of people, a lot of boxing, I should be given the opportunity to, um, to like real, real fighters, what they call them, but listen, at the end of, at the, end of the day, like, People are paying to see it. Like, do you know what I mean, people want to see. It. People want to see um, rivalries. They want to see these characters. If anything, we should be learning from this and going right. What are we doing build, wrong? Build, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start building a bit of character between us. Like, start making a name for ourselves. Like, and this is. They're, they're, if anything, they're showing us right. This is what you need to do. So, I, I'm, I'm all for it, man. I'm all for it. Well said, Sonny. I like that. Um, look, nice speaking to you, bro. Look forward to everything 2023. A final message to fans, people watching, or people that don't know. Let them know uh, what's ahead 2023. Everyone follow uh, my man on TikTok first. That's the first thing. Um, yeah, listen, Sunny Liston Alley on Instagram. Hit that, have a look. Uh, yeah, I think this year, like I say, it's my first year as a pro. My first year, I'm testing the water, seeing what it's all about, learning how to save my dough, learning how to, um, the best way to make the dough, learning the best way to do this. And listen, you got like you said, like I said about the KSI thing, you got to build the character. It's about time I start posting up on Instagram, doing a bit more for the socials as well. So yeah, so that's, that's what this year is about. Last year was a tester, so this year's the one. I like that. We look forward to the journey and thank you for joining us at Boxing Social.